So we would like to recognize Robbie Borders. I don't know if any of you have had the pleasure of being driving by either the 224 or Kearns and seeing Robbie spreading his um, hopeful message. Smile, you're beautiful to passerbys. I've seen him out in rain, sleet, snow, and hail. No joke, a little sunshine out there too. So we want to recognize Robbie for spreading his message of hope. So yay, Robbie. So I, I had the pleasure last week of standing out by the roadside with him for 15 minutes and I just watched the faces of the passerbyers in the car and literally they all looked and they smiled and I thought, wow, he is making their day right now. So, so cool for Robbie. So myself as a member of the Summit County Suicide Prevention Coalition, the coalition asked um, Park City High School to perform um, a project for the state or for the county suicide coalition. They wanted a safe summer suicide, um, anti-suicide message to go out for all of you to stay safe. The reason they thought that was so important is just this last year, suicide moved from the second leading cause of death for your age demographic, 10 to 17. It is now the number one killer in the state of Utah for ages 10 to 17. So we thought it was really critical to get that me message out there that there is hope, like Robbie's telling you, and there is help. So I want to take this time to recognize both classes of Latinos in action. They took on the challenge from the Suicide Coalition and with the help of Nora Buchanan, we're able to come up with some positive messages for all of you and for Robbie. They were so inspired by the work Robbie's been doing out in our community that they came up with um, SYAB and you guys will all be receiving a personalized dog tag on your way out of the um, assembly today that says SYAB. Smile, you are beautiful. and. This is courtesy of the Summit County Health Department and the Speedy Foundation that are committed to suicide prevention in our community. So I wanna thank the LIAs and thank Robbie and thank you um, so much to our coalition. Um, the 1-800-273-TALK, the National Suicide Prevention Hotline is on this dog tag. Call it if you need it. Call it for a friend if they need it. Um, I lost some friends in suicide and I thought it would be a good idea to use his idea of making people smile and put it on a poster and show everyone else. Because uh, a lot of kids have been bullied a lot and has been I, but I thought it would be a good idea to try to calm that down so it will be less suicide in Utah and then try to go travel and see if I can do less suicide around. When I heard Robbie's story and what he was doing, it was a complete inspiration to me um, and it made me smile knowing that this kid was so brave to go out there and not care what anybody thought of him and put a smile on other people's faces. I think it's like a really easy connection because they know who I am now and so it would be easier to come up to me and say, hey, why are you doing this? How do you feel about this? Yeah, I just tell them why you're doing it, and then they're like, oh, you're doing a good job. This makes a lot of people happy. Well, I'm involved with the Summit County Coalition that has started a suicide prevention um, campaign that we're going to be hopefully blowing up in the area. And I got contacted from a fellow um, co-worker on the coalition to um, participate in this awesome event. It's, um, it's very important. The Speedy Foundation has... Um, really tried to reach out in the community, um, kind of m memorizing or memorializing um, on Jarrett Speedy um, to just reach out and use his name to give hope to children. Uh, so what the dog tag does is it gives the meaning uh, smile you're beautiful on the, on the dog tag and also it has the suicide hotline number so you can talk to anyone, and even if you just need a friend. Um, you can contact the Speedy Foundation at www.thespeedyfoundation.org. Um, you can always call 435-659-1345 um, and reach out to myself um, or the Utah Suicide Hotline.